Hello everyone and welcome to the Gotham Knight channel. I am your host Apple and uh, I know I've been gone for a while and uh, I, hopefully you guys missed me. Um, when I first started the the Gotham Knight channel, I, I, I let everyone know in the first episode I was doing it in honor of my sister who uh, unfortunately passed away in 2020 from uh, COVID-19, which um, was very hard. Um, my last episode here um, came on the heels of finding out my aunt was going into the hospital. And unfortunately, she also passed from COVID-19. And very, um, very rough year. Um, not only for myself, but my family, um, going through this and losing my sister, losing my aunt and also losing a couple of friends, um, uh, that, uh, you know, this, this thing is not over yet. Um, so I urge each and every one of you to be safe out there, um, take precautions. And if you don't believe in it, Hey, that's fine. If you don't think it's real, that's fine. And you could think that my sister and my aunt passed away from something else or my other friends. Um, to me, it's real. And um, if you extend a courtesy, please wear a mask um, just as a courtesy to me. Thank you. Um, so without that out of the way, I want to go ahead and get to some Batman news. I know there has been a lot of stuff that has been going around and a lot of things that have been happening. But um, the latest that I want to go ahead and get to is everything that's been going on with Robert Patterson and basically rumors that are coming out that he wants to quit. Now, this report comes out from The Sun uh, in the UK. Uh, the Sun has been known to make up stories and not be very truthful. However, um, we know that uh, Matt Reeves can be very, very uh, uh, be a perfectionist. Uh, which makes his films really, really great um, and bringing that into here. So some of the things that uh, supposedly is being reported is that um, Matt Reeves is taking 50, 70 takes of, of, uh, of one scene while uh, Pattinson's wearing the suit. And of course, I believe this is what, like a 50 pound suit that's added on so very uh, uncomfortable and having to do 50 takes of that uh yeah you know they, they can probably wean on you um so that's a reports that that is really why patterson wants to leave the batman role remember take this with a grain of salt um however there is a lot of pressure under matt reeves um one being that uh this is kind of like a a reboot of the franchise, but it's also where we are now getting reports that there's going to be two different franchises of Batman going on. Why not? Batman is the most popular character from DC comics. Um, I know super fans, Superman fans will argue that, <laughs> but he is, uh, money wise, it shows you. Um, and it is something that definitely AT&T needs because AT&T is definitely hurting for money, right? So it is, it is something that uh, mind blowing that two franchises of the same character are going to be going on. One could be living in theaters and the other one's going to be living on HBO max with the Zack Snyder cut. Now, supposedly the way that this is going to hit off is that, uh, in flashes, um, the flash movie in flashpoint, what's going to happen is that Michael Keaton is going to come back and he's of course going to be, uh, kind of like the mentor to, to, I believe Ezra Miller still coming back in that role. So far that I know, uh, he's going to be the mentor, but it's going to be Ben Affleck's swan song where he says technically goodbye to the character in the, the, in the flash movie. And what's going to happen from there is that they're recasting it. They're going to recast the role and have a Batman franchise live on on HBO Max, which could be really cool. I mean, if you're a Batman fan, and I hope that you are because you're listening to this channel, having two Batman franchises would be definitely cool. And they are totally welcoming the, the multiverse 
that DC has, where each Batman has their own universe. But this can also expand into other characters, like maybe a younger Superman, um, while still having the, the Henry Cavill Superman, uh, having J.J. Abrams Superman, uh, having J.J.'s World, um, which I, I have my own Star Wars channel. So if you guys want to go follow me, and here's a, a selfish pug. Um, Star Wars Empire Knights is, is my other YouTube channel, so check that out. Uh, and I have my issues with J.J., but I, I digress. He's he's a part of DC now, and hopefully he's going to do a better job than the Star Wars stuff. But while having those two uh, worlds going on, um, I think it could be very beneficial for AT&T um, money and profit wise. Why? Because the the world that Matt Reeves creates, which will spawn off a TV show on HBO Max, could be very, very uh, in-depth. And you have young uh, actors right now who can carry that role for a long time. Um, of course, uh, Ben, who's, of course, you know, getting up there in age and having to wear a suit like that, uh, you know, let's just say when you get into your, your late forties, that's probably not going to be a, a, a really good look. Or not unless you do something like how Robert Downey did with Iron Man, where you only were the, the top chest piece and then the rest was all CGI. Um, but then in that case, you're not really wearing a Batman suit. So, this is something that is is going around, and I hope it really does happen because it does look like it's going to happen, where we're going to have two universes, one with uh, Robert Patterson's Batman and the Batman that they recast for uh, Ben Affleck's Batman, which is really great. the The sad part to this is that when Flashpoint takes place, they're thinking about instead of having Terry McGinnis come in as Batman beyond with Michael Keaton being, of course the mentor role, um, Michael Keaton's going to be doing, um, a Batgirl, which I, I don't know why they would do that. That, that. That's what they're talking about right now is that instead of Terry McGinnis, uh, being a coming out in a Batman beyond movie with Michael Keaton, it might be a Batgirl beyond, which kind of blows my mind uh i i i, I just don't see that uh at the times at t is getting it right with warner brothers and i think something like that is going to be a big big fail um i i wouldn't want you guys to 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 fall in any way and what i love michael keaton um i i definitely if you haven't heard my episode where i've gotten to talk to him about this project it, it look Warner Brothers, get it right. Do Terry McGinnis as Batman Beyond, and then you have three franchises. Okay, put it, put it, boom, 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 and then we we'll could do Superman. We can do Wonder Woman, another Super Wonder Woman. Even though I love Gal Gadot, she's great. Have another one. Have a different Superman. Have a different Green Lantern, which supposedly is in the works also. So you can go so many ways on this. So please, Warner Brothers, please. Let's get it right. All right, guys. So um, I'm glad to be back. I'm going to get you guys, of course, caught up. And, of course, um, of course, follow me here on the, the Gotham Knight channel. Or if you're a Star Wars fan, follow me at the Star Wars Empire Knights. And we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.